I've been in the AC business for 20 years, and all that time, I never really miss a leak with this leak detector, the H10PM. Uh, before it was the H10 and then the H10G. John, many people put their name on it, Johnson Controls, Bacharach, um, Yokigawa, and uh, as always for R22, very sensitive leak detector. It actually ends up being sensitive to 125 parts per billion with a B, and you, that you basically for $500, you got the same sensitivity as this leak detector right here, which cost $8,000. Uh, this one gives you 50 parts per billion and uh, an R22 sensitivity. So, you know, for 20 years, the H10 basically had the market for the leak detectors, but now we got our 410 came along and this guy just totally misses our 410 leaks. The sensitivity is so poor and uh, and so uh, I was uh, you know missing quite a few leaking evaporators, you know leaking condenser coils. So it prompted me to go to the Inficon infrared. Here's my used one with a modification. I used this for many years but it really just I just dreaded, you know, when a pound, when a system was one pound low on refrigerant, especially a system I put in, because I could never find the leak with this Inficon. If it was an R22 system, I could definitely find the leak. And uh, so it prompted me to get a sample of all the leak detectors that are available and uh, all the high dollar ones. I didn't bother testing, you know, the 50 dollar uh, Chinese leak detectors and uh, and so I ended up testing them uh, laboratory quality testing parts per million sensitivity for R22 and R410A and uh, because if you read the specs in all these guys they, the specs can be misleading you know they're all they basically say all these leak detectors should be picking up R410 leaks uh, but the problem is they don't. Actually, it's only a couple of them do. As you would imagine, you know, the eight, if you spend $8,000, actually you can get these are about $1,500 used. You know, you'll find your R410 leaks, you know, with this one. And, uh, but, uh, you know, that's just a pain. You know, it's five minutes to power on. It's uh, very heavy. The probe uh, can suck up water easily. It's designed to be used in a factory environment. And uh, so, to my surprise, there's actually another leak detector, which is uh, in the sub one million, one per million uh, class. And uh, I'm not going to say you which one it is because that's why you know I did the testing and I put forward, you know, I put out a lot of money to buy all these things and uh, a lot of money to get the testing done. That's why I had this testing done. So anyway, you just pay for the report. You'll know which leak detector to buy. It's very cheap. The price of the report is less than any of these leak detectors. And uh, it'll, uh, I'm actually got a few more leak detectors coming in that I'm adding to the report that I don't have on this video. And, uh, but when you want to pick up uh, all the leaks and not leave a job site, you know, especially a brand new system you installed, not leave the job site telling the customer there's a small leak that you can't find, so by the report, I'll tell you which leak detector has the best sensitivity. The report also is going to list the sensitivity in parts per million and parts per billion of all these detectors on the list. And actually, I also have videos of each test uh, being done in the controlled environment and uh, where its accuracy is 10% on the parts per million and parts per billion on some of them.